today I'm on the site where we're flying uh, long range and uh, I will get this big talon up in the air stretch his wings it's been a while since I flew this I think uh, it's grounded for about five six months okay let's go to the setup of my uh, talon here uh, I'm using a eagle tree vector I for this flight uh, two five thousand uh, milliamp hour Turnigy batteries in parallel the back there I also have uh, sorry this is a pitot tube I like this for I installed this because when I fly long range it's nice to have uh, information about ground speed and airspeed so I uh, I installed this that's a Dragon Link uh, dipole uh, I think this is the original one I didn't uh, uh, fabricated a uh, coax cable so this is all uh, Dragon Link and at the back there I'm using a 60 amp uh, Turnji ESC and Dragon Link. I'm also uh, using a 1.2, 1.3 VTX. Uh, this has the capability to go one watt, but for now I'm. Uh, it is set at uh, 500 milliwatts. And again, blue beam antenna. I like uh, this one with a shorter, shorter sim. I think it's uh, it's uh, better for aerodynamics. So, a lot of talent owners uh, didn't like the dome because you know it gets scratched and your your video uh, gets affected. It's not clear. So what I did was to still use uh, the dome for aerodynamics but cut a hole there so this is a 600 TVL Sony uh, camera that I'm using for as flight camera and it, re it really works well I mean, there you go I am using uh, this motor for quite a while now it focus there. it's a Cobra 3520 slash 14 700 kV it's spinning a uh, carbon fiber aeronaut uh, folding prop uh, and it's 13 by 10 I flew this Talon uh, last year uh, 30 kilometers one way and uh, it is it is a very efficient uh, combination and that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to move to Cobra motors I mean I've used SK3 and NTM motors very great but the build quality of uh, Cobra motors, uh, in my opinion, is uh, a bit uh, better than uh, the Hobby King ones. Mm -hmm. 